I said in that last video that using Adobe Acrobat Reader you can't create PDFs. That's not entirely true. You can create a PDF. I have a Word document here. It's a Word document that has a table of contents. So if I click on those links there, it will take me somewhere within that document. Under the File menu in Word, I can either export this and create an Adobe PDF that way, or I could go to the Print menu. And under Print, the printer I want to choose is not one of the normal printers, but Adobe PDF. I'm going to click that Print button and it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. So right now it's running through looking at the document and converting it to a PDF. So just to remind you, this is the Word document. It has a table of contents and that table of contents is linked. Here I am with my Adobe PDF version of that Word document. It looks exactly the same but if we look at this table of contents, these links aren't working. It's just text. So there's another way of creating a PDF. Instead of choosing File and Print or Export, because I've installed Adobe Acrobat Pro DC or Pro 2016, that's inserted an Acrobat menu into Microsoft Word. If I click on that, you can see here I've got quite a few options when I'm creating a PDF. I'm going to leave all these as the default and I'm going to go straight to create a PDF. Now, using this method, I'm going to pop that on the desktop, I'll save it, and now it's converting this to a PDF and it's looking through all of the information and it's going to create a PDF that is just a little bit different to the last one. Here it is. The difference being though that these links now work. So if you're going to create a PDF from a Word document, do go through Acrobat. Under the preferences you'll see there's a number of options there particularly under bookmarks. If you've got a document that starts off using bookmarks or a table of contents, then creating a PDF through the Acrobat menu is a much better option for you.